I wish to start with multiple choice questions. They are from first chapter partnership accounts. And these questions are given in section A. Observe the questions. From the following multiple choice questions, select the correct alternative from given choices and put six order in the bracket. How many maximum partners can be admitted in a non-banking partnership firm? Options are 2, 7, 10 and 20. You know that answer is 20. But observe the statement for that. In a partnership firm there can be minimum 2 and the maximum 20 partners in a non-banking partnership. In case of banking firm, there can be maximum 10 partners. So correct answer is 20. Next. At what rate annual interest to be calculated on loan given by a partner to the firm? In the absence of any provision in this regard in the partnership deal, options are 0%, 6%, 10%, and 12%. These are the options. You know the answer that it's 6%. Observe the state. Interest at the rate of 6% per annum is to be allowed on a loan by a partner to a firm, not on a loan by a firm to a partner. Remember it. So 6% is the correct answer. Next. In case of uniform withdrawal, by a partner in the beginning of each month, for how many months interest will be calculated? 78, 72, 66 and 12, these are the options. Now observe the formula for calculation of interest on drawings. Under such situation, with such situation, that withdrawals at the beginning, withdrawals are at the beginning of each month. Fixed amount drawn per month into 78 months divided by 12 interest rate upon 100. Remember, here the amount withdrawn per month is to be multiplied with 78. And here 78 is option A. Option A is the correct answer. This is one formula. There is another formula to calculate this. Where amount withdrawn per month is not taken. Annual drawings are taken into consideration. So amount withdrawn per month multiplied by 12. That's the total drawings during the year. In that situation, the 12 plus 1, the maximum 12, minimum 1 month, divided by 2, so average number of months into interest rate. This is another formula. Now in Gujarat, what they recommend the first formula. But when students go for CPT or higher advanced courses, CSCS, in those study materials, they have given this second formula. So for your academic interest, I have given this second formula, but Gujarat board students are supposed to write 78 as the answer. Next. In case of uniform withdrawals, by a partner at the end of each month, for how many months interest will be calculated? The options are 12, 66, 72 and 78. Observe the formula once again. Fixed amount drawn per month into 66 divided by 12 into rate of interest into 100. This is the formula given in the textbook of Gujarat. This is the formula which I give you that is general, that is found in CS study material for CPT. 
so total amount drawn maximum number of bonds minimum number of bonds so average number of bonds divided by 12 into rate of interest the answer will be same in both the situation but in Gujarat board you should write the answer 66 for this type of multiple choice question next under fluctuating capital account method in which account and on what side the profit share of a partner will be recorded where do we record the profit to the credit side of capital account so option B is the correct answer credit side of capital account next under fixed capital account method to which account the drawings of a partner is to be transferred now here fixed capital account method is there so drawings are transferred to which account current account Option B is the correct answer. Current account is the correct answer. Next. What kind of liability partner has in a partnership firm? Now options are limited, unlimited, confined to capital, none of above, none of this. Unlimited is the correct answer. Next, in case of fixed capital accounts, salary payable to a partner will be credited to which account? When there is a fixed capital account method, there are two capital accounts for each partner. One is fixed and second is current. And the salary interest on capital, they are recorded to the current account. So correct answer is B current account next for the partnership firm interest on debit balance on part debit balance interest on debit balance of partner's current account is treated as this is credited to profit and loss appropriation account being income to the firm so it is treated as income B is the correct option. Next. In case of calendar year, if a partner withdraws 900 rupees each month from 1st of May uniformly, what will be the amount of interest on total withdrawals at 12% per annum? Options are 864. 108, 216, 324. Now, drawing starts from 1st of May till 31st of December, that the beginning of every month. 1st May, 1st June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Every month amount drawn is 900. Number of months from 1st May. From 1st December to 31st December, 1 month. 1st November to 31st December, 2 months. Same way, 3 months, 4 months, 5 months, 6 months, 7 months, 8 months. Total number of months, if you work out to be 36. How the interest gets calculated? 900 into 12% into 36 divided by 12. 324 is the correct answer. Next, how many maximum partners can be admitted in a banking partnership firm? Maximum number of partners in case of banking business done by a partnership. You know the answer. The answer is 10. In a banking firm, there can be maximum 10 partners. Maximum partners can be 10. So 10 is the correct answer, C is the correct answer. Next. Under fluctuating capital account method, interest on withdrawals will be debited to which account? 
Now fluctuating capital account method is there, so only one capital account for each part of. So amount gets debited to which account? Capital account. In case of uniform monthly withdrawals of rupees 400 by the partner at the end of each month, what will be the amount of interest at the rate of 12% per annum? Now, uniform amount withdrawn 400 and that to at the end of each month, you know the formula for its calculation. You have to calculate interest for 66 months. That to at the rate of 12%. If you work it out, it amounts to 264. Option A is the correct answer. Next. What do you mean by credit balance of profit and loss appropriation account? Divisible loss, net profit, net loss, divisible profit, they are the options. The credit balance of profit and loss appropriation account is known as divisible profit that is distributed amongst partners in a ratio agreed between them. Next, how would you distribute? Divisible profit amongst partners in the absence of any agreement in the partnership day. In proportion of capital, in proportion, in proportion of interest on capital, in proportion to drawings, equal proportion. You know the answer that it is distributed equally by the partners. So option D is the correct answer. Next, the proportion of capital of X, Y, Z is 3 is to 2 is to 1 and the current annual divisible profit is 66,000. What share in profit will be received by Z? See here you are given the capital proportion. You are not told anything about the profit sharing ratio. It is presumed to be equal. So 66,000 is a divisible profit distributed equally amongst partner so Z gets one third of 66,000 22,000 is the correct option so 22,000 is the correct answer next how would you treat interest on partner's capital account from the viewpoint of a partner Interest on capital is an expense for the firm, but for a partner, it is a gain income. So options are as expense, as loss, as income, liability. Option C is the correct answer. From partner's point of view, interest on capital is known as return on investment and return on investment is considered as an income gain to a part. Next. How many methods are there to maintain the capital accounts of partners in a partnership firm? 2, 3, 4, 6. Correct answer is 2. There are two methods. One is fixed capital account method. Second is fluctuating. You know it very well now. Next. The closing balance of capital account of a partner is 80,000. This is after drawings of rupees 8,000 and inclusive divisible profit of 12,000. In this case, what will be the amount of interest on capital at the rate of 10% per annum? Options are 8,000, 6,000, 7,600, 8,400. Interest on capital is calculated on the opening balance of capital account. You are not given the opening balance of capital account. 
so we are required to find out that first the normal formula for that is opening capital plus profit minus drawings is equal to closing capital now i want to find out the opening capital so i will make opening capital as the subject of equation and transfer this profit and drawings to the opposite side the minus drawings becomes plus and plus profit becomes minus observe the formula Closing capital, profit plus that is deducted, minus drawings is plus, made plus because change of side is there. Here closing capital given to 80,000, 12,000 is the profit deducted there from, drawings 8,000 added. So here you get the opening capital of 76,000 and 10% interest calculated there that amounts to 7,600. So 7,600. Option C is the correct answer. Next. In a partnership, in a partnership firm, minimum two partners are compulsory because partnership comes in existence by an agreement or a contract. The partnership has more risk as compared to proprietary business. Partnership requires more high amount of capital. Partnership requires more high amount of capital. I think so. Now you know that when two or more persons competent to contract carry on a legal business with an object to earn a profit, such an agreement is called partnership. Now partnership is a relationship that comes into existence by an agreement. For agreement minimum two persons are necessary. So it is inevitable for any partnership to have minimum two partners. So A is the correct answer. Because in the absence of two, there cannot be a relation. For relationship there, for a relationship there must be two. So minimum number of partners are two. A is the correct answer. I have tried to explain you all these multiple choice questions. I feel you have followed all these things, thanks to all of you.